one of the problems of finding uh, funding to roll over this debt was one of the causes of the recent financial crisis. That is why the regulatory community is focusing on liquidity regulation and liquidity regulation is one of the novelties of the new liquidity requirement. When I talk about liquidity regulation, I am referring to a very simple um, mechanism. Banks contract short-term debt and invest it in long-term assets. This means that there is a mismatch of the uh, assets and liabilities in the balance sheet of a bank, and that this mismatch can cause problems when uh, short-term debt, that is the liability part, cannot be renewed. One simple example of liquidity regulation is to impose an obligation to a bank of having a ratio of liquid assets to uh, liquid liabilities uh, that is uh, uh, close to one. In other words, that every single obligation uh, short term is exactly matched by every obligation you have on the asset side. If you uh, have your uh, short debt, debt not renewed, you can liquidate your short term position and repay the debt and no uh, you know, systemic consequence of any sort would occur. Of course, in reality, there will be some uh, parameters to be studied. It will not going to be one-to-one, -one, but it's certainly going to be larger than what uh, uh, banks currently hold. My talk was uh, really a review of what is the state of uh, knowledge about uh, this issue. While uh, we have a wide consensus about uh, the rationale for uh, avoiding liquidity crisis, there is no consensus in terms of uh, uh, understanding what are the best tools to avoid liquidity crisis. It is unclear whether it is uh, a better tool relative to uh, a properly designed capital requirements and or properly designed uh, lender or last resort uh, uh, policies by the central bank. So the next step is uh, to get uh, more research on this, to get also better measurements of what type of uh, liquidity mismatches uh, any type of uh, regulatory tool might address. Mm -hmm.